This tutorial will show you a fun way to add some sub bass to an acoustic kick drum. A low frequency sine wave generated by a synthesizer on another track will be triggered by the audio signal from the kick drum track. To hear what's going on in the video, you'll want to listen through a system with good bass response, maybe even including a subwoofer, or listen through a good pair of headphones. I have an acoustic drum loop here with each drum on a separate channel, plus a pair of overhead mics and a pair of room mics. I want to add some sub bass to the kick drum. I might be able to get more bass from the kick drum with EQ, but the method I'm going to show you gives you more control over the sound and can really shake the walls if you want it to. First, I want to show you a neat way to generate a sine wave. Drag in a Thor synthesizer and rename the track Sub. Click Show Programmer. Right click on Thor and choose Initialize Patch so we can start programming Thor with a clean slate. In Thor's Step Sequencer, change the number of steps to 1 by turning the Steps knob all the way to the left. Set the Run Mode to Repeat and click Run. Turn the edit knob to gate length and turn the gate length all the way up for step 1. Turn the amp envelope sustain all the way up. Turn oscillator 1 off. We don't need it. Turn the envelope and velocity knobs all the way down on the filter and note that the self oscillation light must be on for this trick to work. When you do this at home, remember to turn down the volume on your headphones or speakers before this next step, because it could get a bit loud. Turn the resonance knob all the way up, and you've got a sine wave. Turn the frequency knob down to around 60 Hz. If you like it lower, you can go down as low as 40 Hz. But for this demo, I'm sticking with 60 Hz. Fold Thor and click the Tab key to flip the rack around. Unfold the Sub Mix Channel and the Kick Audio Track and click Show Insert Effects for the Kick Track. Connect the left two device output from the Kick Track to the left dynamic sidechain input of the sub-channel. Click F5 to show the mixer. On the sub-channel, activate the gate and turn the range knob all the way up. When I play the track, the gate on the sub-channel is opening each time it receives signal from the kick track. But it sounds like it's opening with the snare hits too. What's up with that? If I solo the kick track, I can hear that there is some snare bleeding through on the kick mic. If I activate the low pass filter on the kick track and turn the cutoff frequency all the way down to 100 Hz, I can't really hear the snare anymore. But I've also destroyed my kick drum sound. What I really need to do is just filter the kick signal that's being fed to the sub-channel sidechain input. I can do that by clicking the Filters to Dynamic Sidechain button on the sub-channel, activating that channel's low-pass filter, and turning the cutoff frequency all the way down. Now the gate is only opening on the bass drum kicks, and not on the snare hits. I can control the tightness or the ringiness of the sub kick with the release control for the gate. Before I stop this loop, I'll just turn this sub frequency down for those who like the low, low bass. We're out. See you next time.